Uh, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, last month, a hedge fund called Arcagos imploded after making some very risky bets. And some of our biggest banks had loaned Arcagos the money to make those bets, even though the hedge fund was managed by a guy who had already been charged with insider trading and banned by regulators from handling clients' money. Now, those banks suffered $10 billion, that's billion, dollars in losses as Arcagos collapsed, with more than half the losses hitting one bank in particular, Credit Suisse. So, Vice Chair Quarles, your job at the Fed is to oversee the safety and soundness of our banks. And last year, you made the decision that Credit Suisse and a few other big foreign banks no longer should be required to participate in a Fed program that was designed to oversee the riskiest banks, the Large Institution Supervision Coordinating Committee, or LISIC. Is that right? Uh, yes, although it didn't change the, the I, intensity I, with which so we So you're the one who terms. said, we're not going to do that. So at the time, you justified dropping uh, these banks from increased supervision on the ground that these banks, and I have it here, have significantly shrunk their U.S. footprint and their U.S. operations are much less risky than they used to be, close quote. Your timing, of course, was impeccable on this. Just a few months later, Arcagos blew up and resulted in billions of dollars of losses to Credit Suisse. So now, Vice Chair Quarles, before you told the banks like Credit Suisse that they didn't need extra scrutiny from regulators, before that, did you see any warning signs that these banks had some deficiencies in their risk management? Uh, well, the losses that you're referring to, the great bulk of the Archegos losses occurred outside the United States. Yeah. Uh, are, you, are you saying that losses that outside the United States can't affect operations inside the United States by these large multinationals? Yeah, Surely but not. But we don't supervise their operations outside well, the United States. So oh. their operations within the United States have shrunk uh, exactly as I said. Uh, so you're going to stick with your original play. You know, in 2019, back when Credit Suisse was subjected to the Fed stress test, the Fed, quote, identified weaknesses in the assumptions used by the firm to project stress trading losses that raise concerns about the firm's capital adequacy and capital planning process. In plain English, the Fed said that Credit Suisse's models just weren't realistic. So I want to put the timeline together here. In 2019, Credit Suisse fails a test because it can't accurately project its trading losses. In 2020, you, Mr. Quarles, decide that Credit Suisse should be subject to weaker supervision. And then in 2021, a headline shows up in the Wall Street Journal that reads, quote, Credit Suisse had, su had surprised $20 billion exposure to Arcagos investments. So let me ask this, Mr. Quarles, do you now agree that you made the wrong decision to weaken supervision for a bank like Credit Suisse? Senator, we did not weaken the supervision of a bank like Credit Suisse. The civil servants who are supervising Credit Suisse in our large well, bank and wait, foreign you, bank operations you took it out of the program would, would take issue with designed, you. I, I'm sorry, you can't just say you didn't supervisors. weaken it. You took it out of a program that was designed to have enhanced supervision, saying you didn't need the enhanced supervision. That's what you said at the time, because their footprint in the United States had shrunk. I didn't and say it was wanna... supervision, ma'am. I said it was more appropriate to supervise them with other foreign banks of the same size footprint in the United States, which is what we do. You know, there are other foreign banks with similar prime brokerage operations that have long been supervised outside of LISIC because their footprint in the United States is smaller. These banks are now smaller. The losses that you're referring to did not occur in the United States. I have you would to not say have been able to pick them up in LISIC or otherwise. I am stunned by your argument that you want to say that there was no warning sign from the fact that $10 billion in losses could have affected what Credit Suisse was doing here in the United States. Look, we dodged a bullet with the Arcagos collapse this time. But what slipped through the net by regulators to contain these losses when things go wrong was relatively small to what could have slipped through. It could have been an even bigger failure. And that is because instead of protecting the system, you spent your time at the Fed 
cutting holes in the safety net whenever you charging. could. I'm Your term as chair is up in five months, and our financial system will be safer when you are gone. I urge President Biden to fill your role with someone who will actually keep our financial system safe. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Senator Warren. Uh, Senator Van Hollen from Maryland.